Hello, it's Sir uh, Chew here, and uh, it seems you have caught me in the, the heat of a battle here. It seems uh, my opponent has quite the dungeon, and he has some troops over there, and I don't really have much of a dungeon or much of a hand here. Let's see if we can uh, do something to perhaps stall or perhaps increase the amount of cards in, in my, my hand here. I uh, guess I'm just going to lay my room for the turn, and uh, hopefully... Everything will go for the best. I'm going to end my turn. I'm going to draw a card. You'll go. So let's take Eager Earl into room number one. Okay, she has stepped Eager Earl in the first room. And it appears she has set off the House of Bittersweet. When an opposing noun enters that room, I may draw a card from my deck. And it seems, I guess I'm going to have to do that. I don't have many, many cards here. Okay, got my card. Do you continue? Yes, I do. Let's go over to room number two and see what's in there. All right, room number two's powerhouse has no effect on Eager Earl. Do you continue? Yes, I take Eager Earl, oh, man. Eager Earl into room number three. And he has entered the quarters of deceit. It must. It says here that your noun must stop for one turn. Thank God, because he would have gotten to my side of the field and taken out my thorny turret boy. Damn it. I'm going to end my turn here and draw a card. Well, it just so happens that I have a card in my hand here that I can use to my advantage. Seems here I have a leap of faith. It says I can skip target noun over a room. And I see over here that I have Eager Earl. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to play leap of faith on Eager Earl. Have him skip back over this room and into my house of bittersweet. And guess what? I get another card. Isn't that awesome? Well, this concludes our combo of the day. This is Sir Chu signing out. Thank you.